Welcome back to Ozarks Fox Sam Maddie. I'm already having the best time ever. I am too, and I don't know if you guys can see these uh, little floats and these lights behind us, but uh, Miss Amanda Carson is going to tell us about it. Amanda, people love the parade. It's amazing. Tell us about the parade this year. Well, it's the same parade we've had for a few years. We have 10 fully lighted floats, and we have like 30 characters within the parade. It's awesome. I'm loving this little dog wagging its tail behind us and the tree going with it. It's super cute. One of my favorite floats. What time is the parade at that, so people can enjoy it nightly here at SDC? Six o'clock and eight o'clock. Six o'clock and eight o'clock. How much preparation and organization goes into the floats and do they change year after year or are they the same? We've had the same floats for about 10 years now, so they stay the same, but I work on the parade the entire year between casting, making sure costumes are ready to go, floats are ready to go, all of that. We have a team that works all year. So tell us about some of the characters that you can see. Like you said, you're casting, you're getting things together. It takes, it takes all year to get the parade going. So what is that process like and what kind of characters do you have? So we have a couple of characters. We have Rudolph in the parade. We have Bumble. We, of course, have Santa. Uh, we have the Christmas princess. Like, it's kind of toys. We have some toy soldiers. It's a lot of fun. Oh, I love that. Uh, do you have a favorite float? I think it might be the dog float. I mean, come on. I know. Can we can we see this behind? I thought that was your dog, Maddie, by the way. Uh, right, Tootsie. <laughs> I thought it was Tootsie. <laughs> now, when it comes to casting, you know, I'm sure there are so many people vying for these, you know, acting roles, dancing roles. How, um, you know, when it comes down to maybe like two Santas, how do you decide? It's got to be so hard. You need someone who loves Christmas, loves people, is super animated and nice. <laughs> of course. Anyone watching that wants to audition, remember those key things, yeah. okay? <laughs> so um, when you're putting together the parades, is this something you look forward to every single year? And do you have an active role every single night during the parades? So I don't have a super active role anymore in the parade. I watch the parade every night, but I have a team that takes care of it every day. Do you take notes? I take so many notes. <laughs> I was like, man is giving notes. I am, <laughs> yep. <laughs> I want to do the best it can be. So, absolutely. Yeah. And I bet the visitors just absolutely love it. Got to see the, the happiness on their faces when they're watching the parade. Yeah. What is the parade route exactly? So it goes around the park. It starts in the Grand Expo, comes up here to the square, and then goes down by the Opera House. Okay, gotcha. And this is all, I mean, within entry, you can see the parade. And I'm sorry, this is my first year here. So does it run multiple times a night or just once a night? Six o'clock and eight o'clock. Six o'clock and eight o'clock. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what time does the park close during the holiday hours? It depends like nine or 10 o'clock. Yep. But here's the thing, you gotta be here at nighttime because you gotta see the lights. And that's like the best part. I can't, if you, again, we're talking to some amazing locals here who are from all over the Ozarks who I'm sure have been here, but if you've not seen it and if you've not taken your children, to see the kids' faces light up when they see the giant tree, when they see the bajillions of lights that are at SDC, yeah. it's just, it's absolutely amazing. And you gotta, it's gotta make you feel good to see the people so happy when they come here. It does, and this year we have a VIP parade experience. So for $40 a person, you can meet the characters before the parade, and then you get actual like roped off seating for the parade. And you get hot chocolate, kettle corn, it's a good time. I didn't know about the VIP. For $40, that's not a lot, that is very reasonable. And can people still get tickets to that? Yes, you can get them online. Okay. Online, the VIP experience for the parade, which is amazing, which I, we're learning something new. Uh, yes, we are. Amanda, I just, I'm curious, what's your favorite holiday Christmas memory? Um, it might actually be coming out to Silver Dollar City as a kid with my family. It's pretty magical. So young for you. Yep. Do you like the cinnamon ice cream as much as I do? Oh my gosh, yes. It is like, <laughs> I know I talk about it all the time, and it's, it's hard to think about ice cream when you're cold. I was going to say. <laughs> but I'm telling you, <clears throat> my favorite memory is coming here. Seeing, seeing the show, um, like uh, Dickens, mm -hmm. and getting that cinnamon ice cream. I, didn't, I don't care how cold I am. The cinnamon ice cream and Dickens at Silver Dollar City to me is the best Christmas memory ever. It is. It's awesome. You got to try it sometime, Annie. I No, I hope we're trying it today because we got a taste test coming up later. Yeah, we do. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you, Amanda, thank you, so Amanda. much. Come check out the floats at Silver Dollar City. You guys, we're going to have so much more fun coming up on Ozarks Fox AM. Stay right where you are.